It's time for a quick overview of high-definition TV display technologies. Now, if you're on the road to HDTV, you can take one of three different paths, and everyone you talk to has a different opinion of which is the best route for you to follow. Well, let's see if we can make the choice clearer for you. The three technologies you're going to be faced with are plasma displays, LCD displays, and projection TVs. Now, each one has its strength, and truthfully, more than one will probably do the job for you and will do it remarkably well. Right now, we're going to consider the big picture of each technology, and in our next show, we're going to focus on some of the details of each of the display types. So let's begin, though, with DLP TVs. These are projection TVs, meaning we have a light source that reflects onto the screen, creating the image. Now, the strength of DLP and projection TVs is they're available in much larger screen sizes, in this case, up to 71-inch size. So they're perfect for the home theater environment. They're perfect where size counts. So people really like them for sports viewing because of how smooth the image is. And as far as value is concerned, it is definitely the value leader because the cost per inch of screen size is the lowest. So people who are, who are concerned about the economy of going high definition, they're going to take a look at DLP TVs. Now, DLP TVs actually have a few new technologies that Samsung has introduced just recently. First of all, they are now much slimmer, so they can be placed in a broader variety of setups. As well, some can be wall mountable and the light system has been changed in some TVs as well traditionally speaking DLP TVs have a lamp system that shines on a DLP chip before it goes through a color wheel and up onto the screen which creates a tremendous image they've also included now an LED light source which reduces the number of parts but still produces a dramatic image now the thing that really impresses me about DLP TVs is the fact that this is actually the engine behind all DLP TVs what happens is all of the different light sources reflect off of this surface here it's too small for you to see but there's actually thousands of tiny micro mirrors here on the surface of the DLP engine that reflect the light up onto the screen now, this is always staggering to me, that this little chip here is what's responsible for this big, beautiful image we see before us, DLP technology. It's marvelous. Now, let's move on to other marvelous technologies. Now, we're going to talk about our direct view technologies. In other words, we're not seeing a projected image anymore, but we're seeing the actual image. In this case here, we have our LCD screen. Now, LCD screens are the most flexible of the high definition TVs, meaning we have the greatest range of sizes from 19 inches all the way up to 65 inches. So we have a wide range of options for placement. So for example, replacing normal TVs, your old TV in your bedroom or in the kitchen, you're going to be looking at an LCD TV because when you get down into those smaller screen sizes, LCD is definitely the way to go. Now, some of the benefits of LCD TVs is they're a beautiful, bright image. People think that they just images just pop off the screen and indeed they do it's also a very thin design so it's wall mountable it's also really flexible as far as its placement it's very forgiving as far as its environment the lighting conditions so if you have a room where you have a lot of windows and you often have problems with glare on your traditional TV LCD screens might be a real nice solution because they resist glare more than any other technology if you like to watch a lot of TV Samsung's LCD displays are rated for 60,000 hours of life, which means you can watch TV six hours a day for 27 years. Maybe you should consider a second hobby. Finally, we have our plasma display. Plasma displays are incredibly smooth and beautiful images. They have a dynamic contrast which tops all of the high definition TVs and they have the smoothest image. So they really excel at things like watching sports fast-moving action and they're also great for film buffs people think that it's the most film-like quality so people who are drawn to that sort of an image are really drawn towards the plasma displays and some new advancements in technology in the plasma display most important is one called filter bright technology because plasmas actually have a glass screen they could be susceptible to glare issues in the past but with filter bright it kind of absorbs the glare so now you have more variety as far as your placement options with plasma screens as well and of course they're also wall mountable so they fit in a lot of different viewing environments as far as life cycle goes they're rated for about the same 60,000 hours as the LCD displays are so that's it you have the appetizer a little look at each of the technologies a taste to whet your appetite but if you're like me you're gonna need to get a lot more detail before you decide exactly which type of display fits your needs the best but before we get there 
I think we should take a look at high-definition sources. And that's coming up right after a quick break.